Beyond the Explorer program, cops having sex with minors and children is a never-ending problem. Cases from decades ago can be seen in this list of the cops who were caught. From infants to teenagers, from creating and sharing child pornography to years of raping the same child to impregnating teenagers, from newly employed cops to police chiefs, from local law enforcement agents to Homeland Security and FBI agents, the number of victims and predatory law enforcement agents is staggering. For many of these predators, their proclivities have lasted for decades despite the victim's claims. And for all too many of these cop predators, the punishment is far, far less than that which is imposed on the average predator with no ties to law enforcement. One such recent case is that of Honolulu police officer Teddy Van La Burge, whose victim endured his sexual assaults over a period of four years, starting at the age of five. In 2019, he was sentenced to probation and because he did not go to prison, he allegedly filed to get his job back in law enforcement. An LAPD officer, Clark Warren Baker, caught with child pornography on his home computer, was also sentenced to probation. In the category of law enforcement agents who get away with their predations for decades, we have Spearsville, Louisiana Police Chief Steve Bodine. Chief Bodine's wife ran a daycare center, and apparently the pedophile chief helped himself to the young children whose parents undoubtedly trusted the daycare center precisely because the husband of the woman who ran it was the chief of police. He raped children who were aged 4 to 14 years and got away with it for 40 years. Apparently, the parents did not believe their children, who must have mentioned that they were being abused at daycare. Can you blame the parents? The chief of police raping their child? Preposterous! At least he was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. But what must his victims think about a system that allowed this to continue for 40 years? Another Louisiana sheriff, St. Tammany Parish Sheriff Jack Strain, was also diddling minors over a period of many years, including one victim to whom he was related. The victims were all males, one of whom was also a family friend. As of this date, the trial has not yet taken place. When there is a verdict and hopefully a sentence, you will be able to find it on my website under Cops Predators of Children. And finally, in the last segment of this series on pedophile predatory law enforcement agents, you will find a total of the cases that we have found since beginning this project a number of years ago. Sadly, the number increases on a daily basis, but I will make every attempt to keep pace with the predators and post them on our website, policeprostitutionandpolitics.com, in the Cops, Rape, Children, and Minors section.